Hi everybody, I'm Jessica Clark. And I'm Lacey Stone. And today we are talking about the scary tropic drum roll, please, of meeting the parents. Oh, <laughs> scary sometimes. Um, okay, so basically, you know, people have the problems of how am I going to introduce this person to my parents. Right. Yeah, do I want to? How am I supposed to do it? What if my parents aren't respectful of either me being gay or me wanting to be with a woman or just in my relationship in general? Right. And what else? Oh, worrying that your girlfriend would like your parents? Yeah. People worry about that too. Yeah. Or, you know, worrying that if you're really serious about the relationship, that you, that you don't like the parents. You know what I mean? Cause, it's true. Because, like, they're the people you're... They're a package deal most of the time. And that's usually what your, what your person is going to be like. They do say, like. if you want to know what your girlfriend or wife is going to be like in 10 years, 20 years, 15 years, you should look at the mother. I'm a lucky girl. Hey, Louise. So She's very smooth. So, you see that? So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so basically, when you're... Well, how was it when, when you were thinking about introducing me? You know, I... It's hard. It's hard to do it. The first part that's hard with your parents is, you know, obviously, if you're introducing your uh, lover to them, uh, the, you've told them you're gay, you've come out to them. So that was the hardest thing, right? So this shouldn't be, this is like chop liver, you know what I mean? Uh, I, had, I had introduced people to my mother and father already, and I had had some, had some issues before in the past, and I was just worried that my mom wouldn't love Jessica as much as I loved her. So basically, I, what I thought was important was that I wanted to lay the groundwork and, you know, let my mom talk to my mom about how wonderful she was. And I think um, that's really important. And I think I'm going to stop talking in a second so you can get your point okay. in. But I think I, I see this happen a lot of times where, you, you know, you have a dramatic relationship or you have a fight or nothing, spilled milk, something happens. And you call your mom and you say, ugh. Jessica sucks, I hate her, blah, 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 blah. Now, I don't do this, I've done this before in the past. Then your mom starts to have like these, she'll always remember the spilled milk. So I say, yeah. keep, the, keep the spilled milk with the girlfriend and don't share it with your mom because you want your mom, if you really love this person, woman, yeah. you want her always to look at her in a positive way. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's definitely like a major kind of tip number one. Like, speak of the person that you're in love with um, in the most positive ways, like the reasons why you're in love with them. Because although you might know the reasons why you're in love with them, um, if you just so happen to be sharing kind of like the annoyances and the, their irritations on the phone or what, even when you meet with your best friend and that's all they hear, um, because we're kind of like letting off steam, that will be the impression that they have and they'll maintain. And once they kind of get that kind of impression... With friends too. Yeah. Even if they've never met the person, if they don't know your, your girlfriend um, that well, that will be their impression. That's really, really hard to shake. Hard picture to repaint. Yeah, it's a really hard picture to repaint. It's hard for the person to come into that room where the person already has these views of them that people aren't, aren't right. so positive. Yeah, and, and the other thing is, if, if you do find that you're constantly saying negative things about the person that supposedly you're in love with, you that kind of maybe you should check in with yourself about that because if all those things really are true, then why do you want to be with her? Um, and because the person that you choose to be with, I think, like, that reflects on you. So if you're going around saying, oh, my girlfriend, she's this and she's that, and this girl, uh, 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 she's so this, like, well, then why are you with her? That reflects on you. Yeah, dump the bitch. Oh, did I say bitch? On, I think we can do that online, right? Beep. Um, okay, so uh, in terms of that, Jessica threw me in there right away. Like... It was awesome. She lived in, her mom lives in Ireland. Right, I'm English, she lives in Ireland. And I really loved, you know, love not in the beginning because, you know, you build love and trust and all that stuff. But I really liked her. Right. And I was like, you know what, I would like to meet her mom just to know, hey, if I don't get along with her mom, probably not going to work long term. So, yeah, you know. And, and my attitude was. And her mom's like, super open-minded. Yeah, I mean, one. I, not that everyone in Europe is open-minded, but I'm from London, um, and it's, you know, it's pretty accepting, and my mother, you know, is part of the swinging 60s and all that kind of thing. Um, so I knew that on principle that she was okay with um, gay relationships and me being gay. Um, but the, the major thing for me was 
I knew very, very quickly that Lacey, that you, um, were going to be very, very important to me and that this was something that I wanted to pursue and wanted it to be meaningful. I knew she wasn't just another fling. I knew she just wasn't one of those, excuse the term, but like, you know, fillers where you're like, oh, I'm kind of bored, I'm kind of lonely. I'm not, you know, it's fun to hang out with this person for a little while. It's not good. I don't endorse it. But most of us have like gone there. The best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody. She said that, not me. Well, I got it I would you. never say that. <laughs> no, uh, um, So but... for me, I was like, okay, well, I really want these two women to meet. These are the two most important women in my life. And I want to see how they do with each other. I wanted to see how you would handle her. My mom is kind of a little unconventional. You're a little unconventional. And I'm like, this is either going to be amazing or it's going to be a disaster. No, so it was great. You know, we she like, we totally got along and it was like, you know, there's a new show on ABC called Modern Family. That's what it was. It was it was fun. Yeah. Um, but the bottom line is, you know, if you uh, so speak well, always speak well of the person. Speak well of the person. Good points. Points. Find out. Like ask your girlfriend or like give your girlfriend if you're introducing your girlfriend to your parents. Give her some pointers. Like what do they like to talk about? Yeah. What about? do they like? Like like what makes them happy? Don't talk about this. Right. Exactly. Like give them things. Don't swear in front of my mom. Like you know, like Lacey's mom is a lady, so I I, I knew like not to rock the mini skirts. I knew like I I dressed very appropriately. Like I wanted to create good. You know, impression. study on them. You know, prepare. Right. My mom likes interior design. Yep. She likes, you know, pretty things. Yep. She likes tennis. She yep. likes me. There you go. There's some topics, you yep. know. She likes modeling. Easy. Um, so, you know, another thing is, is if your parents aren't accepting you and your relationship and you really love this person, you know, you got to stand up for yourself. Mm. And you really do. And if, if, um, if it's, if your parent, you know, you can't pick your parents, but you can pick your friends. And being right. gay is very hard, uh, but that's why we, you know there's certain parts of the world where it's easier: New York, LA, San Francisco, and the United States. You know where lots you know, of places in Northern Europe. There you and go, Southern she, Europe. There, yeah, what she said, and um, you know. I said thumbs up. That's sometimes it doesn't work out with the parents, but you can find other people in your life that will support you, and if you have each other. You know, maybe you'll have siblings that, that you can stay close with. I'm not yeah. like, I'm not uh, promoting this, not supporting this behavior, but I, I don't let your parents break the love that you have for each other. Yeah, I would kind of add on to that in saying a couple of things. Number one, okay, your parents will treat your a significant other the way you allow them to treat her. So if you accept nothing but respect and consideration then and, and, and don't accept anything less, then that... I got a good one. Go. And, and maybe they won't like her immediately, but life is long. Maybe in a couple years, they'll learn the lesson and, and they will learn to like her. Yeah, people are slow burners. And I think, slow burners. And I think also, like, yes, it's much more dramatic when, when you're introducing a, a, a same-sex lover to your parents because, you know, we have all these different uh, expectations that it's going to be bad or stressful or anything like that. It's kind of stressful when you're in a straight relationship yeah. too. Like everybody gets scared. Like it's okay. And, and lots of people don't. Yeah. Lots of people have trouble with their families and their significant others in the beginning. Like it doesn't, it isn't necessarily just the gay thing. They might verbalize it as that. Maybe you verbalize it as that. Maybe we verbalize yeah, it as that. They'd be freaked out with anybody. They're your kid. Right. Yeah. You're, you're their kid. You're their kid. Right. And vice versa occasionally. So. Depending. Bottom line is, right? We're wrapping it up here. Okay. Yeah. The bottom line is, you know, meeting the parents is tough. You gotta prepare, you gotta talk each other out, you gotta yep. communicate. Communication is the access to a successful relationship. <laughs> Be very mindful of how you're communicating about your lover or girlfriend. Yeah. To the family. Yeah. Pay attention and just wear a good outfit. If, if you want it to work out, you can make it work out. Just just share share from your soul the true true truly how much you love the person. And your parents will feel that. They might not agree with it immediately, but they'll feel it. No one can deny that. No one can deny it if you really truly love each other. It's undeniable. So what she said. Signing off here. <laughs> um, uh, if you have any questions or comments or have anything you'd like us to talk about, just leave it right under there, right under our picture. And tell us, and tell us your tips, like what worked for you, what didn't work for you, like what should we talk about in kind of future vlogs, um, what would be helpful, um, what kind of stories do you want to hear? We, we are here hear for you, for you, totally. and we want to support you in finding happiness in your love life. Have a great day. <laughs>